السيدات والسادة نرجو البقاء في مقاعدكم والآن مع كلمة رئيسية تقدمها السيدة كيارا ماركاتي من شركة كوانتوم بلاك ماكنزي Dear guests, the next keynote will be delivered now by Kiara Marcotti from Quantum Black AI by McKinsey. Good afternoon, everybody. So good afternoon. I'm very excited to be here. Um, maybe a few words about me. I'm Chiara Marcati. I'm a partner with McKinsey. I lead Quantum Black. It's our A arm. I lead it for the entire EMA region. Uh, just a little more about me. I think three numbers are important in my life. 20, 12, and 2. Uh, 20 is 20 years ago as the time I really started my first encounter with AI. I think it was love at first sight. Then I got lost in the world of business and consulting, but now I'm in the perfect spot where I was able to bring both together, the AI world and the consulting world. 12 are the number of years that I'm in the region that I call UAE home. My family is here, everybody is here, so I'm in love with this place. And my kids this morning asked me if I was going to the moon, because for you that don't know, in the museum in the future, you can go to the moon. Uh, number two, two are my kids, the love of my life. One is five, one is four, and I take them in my heart wherever I go. So they're here with us today. So that's a little bit about me. Now, about Gen AI. November 2022, uh, a big revolution happened in the space of tech. Now, I don't want to bore you with all the technical mambo jumbo of Gen AI, and I love to trip, so hopefully I will not. But uh, have you ever heard the word, it's raining cats and? Very good. Gen AI can do that as well. Gen AI can tell us what's the highest likelihood word, piece of content that it's coming. And how, does they, how do they do it? There is something called foundational model that brings together all the zigillion of data in the world, from Wikipedia, from internet, from the social media. And Gen AI is that smart engine that reads into this complicated zigillion of data and synthesizes for us. Gen AI is the art of asking questions. Now, the second question you might have is, why now? Why not last year? Why not the year before? Why not five years ago? Why not in 10 years? Well, the answer is fairly straightforward. Now what we have, we have the star aligning. We have 60 years of the Moore's law that allow us to give computing power a cheap price and in decent size that we can put it in our office and in our home. Two, we have 40 years of internet that give us the biggest wealth of data that you can use to train your model. We had 20 years of mobile phone that give us the ability to have a supercomputer in our hand at all times. What, what more? Why not now? Now, Gen AI is the art of asking questions, and there are there are four types of questions that we've seen are mostly asked to Gen AI. We have analyzed more than 200 potential use cases, and we've seen that at the end of the day, Gen AI boils down to four questions. Question number one, it's concision. What is concision? Means the ability to ask questions. It's a virtual expert. I think the best example and most famous example is ChatGPT. That's a virtual expert. You ask random questions and chat GPT answer. Now companies are revolutionizing their business. McKinsey, McKinsey has put together all their external publication, all the internal publication, all the expert interviews, every single piece of data, put it in a place, and now my consultant have a heads up in starting in the project. That's concision. Put your knowledge in a place and really ask a question and Gen AI give you the answer. Lawyers, I mean, amazing. The second question, type of question is coding. We have massive amount of money invested in software development, in AI development. 
a Gen AI can accelerate and help us get better and faster. A lot of the coding is about writing the basics and then amazing coder at their brain to make it tremendously uh, effective. Now Gen AI can give us the basics. All of that is time that we save. So on coding and really getting a head start on software development. Question number three is content generation. This is one of my favorite. Do you know all these ads? Do you know how much time people had to put together to actually draw them? Now Gen AI can do that. You can ask, can I have a picture of the style of Picasso with the rainbow color, with a twist of Taylor Swift? Gen AI can do it. Now, I'm not sure why you use that picture for, but you can really ask everything. Marketing agencies and publicity and advertiser can really get a true head start. And the marketer can truly spend time in being, become a genius and add the creative touch to it. Last one is customer engagement. Customer engagement is how do I get the sales agent uh, to free time. Well, you know what? Now there is a virtual chat box that can do all the level one. And this virtual chat box is not some silly chat where you write something and they answer something that doesn't uh, have anything to do with your question or answer. Yeah, thank you very much, but please call the call center. I can't answer. This is actually feels like a proper conversation. And they understand you and they get to know you and they pre can preempt what you're going to ask. Same as it's raining cat and dogs. He knows exactly, based on the problem that you outline, what's the solution and how to help you. Now, actually, before I go there, there's one thing that if you noticed, a thread along all these questions. And the thread is productivity. The Gen AI has a massive, massive impact on productivity. Now, that scares us, and, and let's think about AI in general. So AI went through three phases. AI as automation was maybe a decade ago or more, where the productivity was of the labor force, of the physical force. How can I get robot? How can I automate stuff that I, before I needed labor to do? Think about warehouses, think about supply chain. Then there was another wave of machine learning. They helped us, uh, um, they help us automate activity on analysis, forecast, and they got better at that. And now Gen AI touches the knowledge worker, touches the brain of the workforce. Now, every time I say that, there is a silence in the room and their question comes. So I'm going to ask because maybe it's in your mind. Does this mean job losses? Well. The answer is no. No and why? Because we have interviewed more than 3,000 leaders. We do it regularly every year. And what we realize is that actually the leaders want to use that productivity to get more value. Let me give you an example. Like if I now I'm, and in average the productivity gain goes from 20 to 50% depending on the line of business, which means you get from one to two and a half day per week freed thanks to Gen AI. And you know, there are two main levers that imaginary and visionary CEO are exploring with Gen AI. Lever number one, convert some of that productivity into well-being. Maybe that's the key to get the four weeks days, the four weeks working days, because I'm getting the employee to be as productive in less time. But my utmost favorite is number two. Leaders are realizing that they can reinvent the way to do work. Let me give you an example. You are a salesperson, and you have to spend now 80% of your time producing report, reading material, and really getting ready for a meeting that lasts 10 minutes. Well, you know what? Tomorrow, it's not like that. All the material, everything will come to you. You just need to spend that 20% of time reading it, and then, you can just connect with the human that is in front of you. That's going to be the new salesperson. Same for wealth advisor. Same for anyone that has to do with people. You can really spend time now with the people. And that activity, trust me, there's not going to be any AI that can automate. The connection, the empathy, that's only from human that will come. Now, going back to more 
tangible value, where is GNI coming from? G the value of GNI. We have estimated roughly $4 trillion globally. A run rate will come from GNI. Just to give a sense of balance, but four, $4 trillion, it's roughly 4 to 5% of the global GDP. So it's extremely significant. Which function? The main function are marketing and sales, software development. Those are the things that are, and customer operation. Those are the three functions that are the biggest winner in this uh, play. In terms of sector, which sector are the biggest winner? The sector that are the biggest winner are consumer, banking, those are, and CPG. Those are the sectors that have heavy expenditure in those functions. Banks, the biggest expenditure for bank beyond personnel is software development, core system. And that can be massively reduced, 20, 30% significant reduction with the use of Gen AI. Gen AI can be incredible. Now, what is interesting, and this I touched upon already, is that the, the impact on productivity is quite big for the, for the knowledge uh, worker. And just to give you some statistics, 70% of the worker can be touched with this worldwide, 70%. And 50% of their activity can be, can be automated. So if you like analogy, think that Gen AI is a superpower backpack for knowledge workers to truly ship them to another dimension and truly reinvent their job. Now, the next question is, okay, but then why don't everybody do it? Why are we not cracking this? Well, the reality is one out of 10 cases is actually successful. One out of 10. It's a crazy statistic, but it's true. And you want to know the reason? The reason is quite easy. When we did the interview, and we interview leaders and followers, what we realized is that the laggers in AI, they will answer that their key success factor is the model. They will tell you that the key success factor is the precision and the beauty and the accuracy and the model. So they put all their money in hiring the greatest data scientist. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Model is only one of five success factors and not the most important. What, what matters? So number one, the things that matter is the data architecture. If you have a model, but you don't have the data properly in place, you cannot do anything. If your data are not organized, if your data are not there, and mind you, they don't need to be perfect. You can start small, but data are important. Two, cloud infrastructure. In this region, we are studying the possibility to uh, lean more on cloud, but until then, Cloud still remain a challenge. But this computing power that is required by Gen AI can be done with regular service. We really need to find a way to unlock uh, cloud, at least a target. We can start with a very powerful gaming computer. But if we want to become and scale this, we need to crack the cloud. Number four, which is my favorite. People think that everybody is OK to using models that are in a black box. Everybody is OK to think and understand AI if they don't see it. Well, wrong. Human needs to see. So creating an interface that you can interact with, and at the end, Gen AI is a conversational tool. So you want a tool to converse with, and that is interface is extremely critical. And last but not least is my favorite is the human, human, human. You can have the best Gen AI in the world, but the reality is that if you do not put the human in the process, if you do not change the way the human are working, you have human on one side that they do things exactly in the same way, and you have the model on the other side that have beautiful results. So the integration of existing workflow and the human is paramount. I don't want to take a long time, but many times when I talk to leader, the thing they ask me, OK, where do I start? Number one, know where you're going. Create a vision and a path for yourself. Do you want to be the, at the far front? What function do you want to improve? Where do you want the value come from? Know where you're going. Don't just randomly start. Two, data. 
Understand what you have or what you don't have. I have a client at the moment that he have no data, and yet he's launching Gen AI. It's just getting and think external data can be offered. Three, the technology. Understanding how you use cloud and how you enable that is important. Four, talent. How do you train your people? Five, really an agile delivery model. Start small, think big, start small, think big, just start. And six, human, human, human. Invest on change management day one. For every dollar you spend in tech, you want to spend it in human. And then last but not least, if I reflect and I pause, and really I think about my learning. One, Gen AI, it's not an answer to all the problem. So let's stop thinking that Gen AI will be the answer of everything. It's not. Two, it's not, it, Gen AI is new, but your business is not. So ask Gen AI, but start with business questions. Solve your business issue with Gen AI. Three, models are a commodity. Just get anything. Ask Gen AI to give you the model. Three, the model are smart as the data. So let's give data, let's be creative. I mean, honestly, Wikipedia is a data that everybody can access. There's the world of internet everybody can access. As I said, this is very important. Think big, move fast, and start small. Don't have the ambition to start too big. And last but not least, there are no silver bullet for hallucination. Gen AI has a risk, and this is where the human comes. Thank you.